Oh, buenos dias, fishing freaks. I sound like Paul Bunyan coming off the lumber wagon. So for some reason down here, I cannot breathe when I'm sleeping. So I'm just, I just, ah, I've been waking up like this every day. The van is about to be here. The van picks us up every morning. They pick up all of our tackle off the porch. They take us down to the lake. It's a windy ride down the edge of a mountain which you guys can't really see because it's in the middle of the dark. Today is the last day, it has been tough. My biggest bass of the trip is an 8.8. That is actually the biggest bass uh, on the board as of right now out of, out of our group. So it should be bigger than that and there should be more of those. Today we got changing conditions. There's a little wind in the air, which is awesome. The spinner bait bite and the little underspin bite is gonna be good. And I'm fishing with my buddy Matt. He's good luck. He usually just catches a random big one. He's already caught a real nice one this trip. I got a better feeling about today. With the wind, keep that blade out in deep water. Plus, I had a dream last night. I didn't pass math class. I went to college, but they wouldn't give me my degree until I went back to high school, and I had to pass college, or, yeah, exactly. Everyone was like, on this digital thing, and I was writing a pen and paper, and I was terrible, and then I woke up, and I was like, I'm so glad I don't have to go back to high school math class. It's gonna be a good day. Beautiful sunrise. Oh, good day. We're on a giant, giant point that has huge boulders. This is the most distinct, big structure, rock structure point on the whole lake. And I've heard a few stories about some giants being uh, being lost and caught here. Like some true giants. I think Ron Speed, the owner of the lodge, he had. What he says is like a 24 or 25 pound bass on here. I think we're probably gonna throw like spinner baits and other stuff out deep for a big bite, but I'm just trying to top water right now just to see. Oh, got him. Lapina, poquito. This is not what we were expecting. 18 foot right here, we'll back out. Hey, good times though. Yeah, I'll let you get that one. Yes, well, that sir. Treble hooks. Mm. Hey, good way to break the ice. First couple casts. Would have been nice if it was like six, but <laughs> we'll get there. Those are bass. Dude, they are sitting here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's some big arcs right on this ledge below us right where they're supposed to, 15 to 18 on that drop mat. The Mondo worm on a Texas rig is... It's about to just it's, destroy yes. them. That looks like three eight pounders right there, what that looks like on the graph. I'm not kidding. I wouldn't make that up. Yeah. Fish number two. Absolutely choked a spinnerbait. Yeah, well, I'll give it a sniff. I have to smell a fish. Ooh. Look at that fish. He's been cut. Nice. Have you fished the river much? A little bit. We're trying to decide where to go. It kind of all sucks right now, so we're not sure. We've already cracked open a Modelo. I've tried something new. I'm going with a, a Mondo worm. Aided Mondo worm. So instead of throwing like a Cinco, I'm trying that. It looks amazing. First cast. Took my whole unit. Okay, just had my first bite on this little dangler. This thing looks absolutely awesome in the water. Wait, yeah, on a wait list, there's one. He's got it. Hey, pequeño. The weightless Mondo. Lightly weighted Mondo.
Oh, boil on it. Look at the size of that boil. That was a better fish. Ooh. Oh, look at this tasty little bush. Oh, hit it swimming in. Little guy. Told him a worm. No. Little guy. I had one on my Lavina? See? Lavina y tilapia? Yeah. Possible? He's saying that there might be a bass with a tilapia down its throat over here. Uh, let's let's check it out. There might be a bass over here that's eating a tilapia and is having some trouble at the surface, so we're gonna go investigate. Si, sí, si, sí, labina. Labina y tilapia. It is. It's a small bass with a tilapia. Look at it. Look at that. That is crazy. It's not even that big. This is nuts. This isn't even a big bass. It's just, this is what they want right here. Do they have like a spine or something? That... There it is. Our biggest catch of the day. Crazy. Doubled up. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna save this guy. We're gonna take the tilapia out. <sighs> what happens is they uh, they try to eat these and the tilapia hold up their, they flare up their spines and then uh, they, can't, they can't exit. So it takes a little uh, finagling here. Doesn't wanna go out, there we go. And that's a tilapia. That is a two pound bass trying to eat it. All right, buddy. Make sure you're okay. Oh, yeah. Come on. Kick. Kick. There you go. There you go. Get back down there. Nice. Well, looks like we saved a bass's life. Labina. Labina is bass in Spanish. That was awesome. It's not every day you see that, y'all. Chew. Is that Sobe? That was Sobe with a tripod. Mexico. What was he holding then? That wouldn't surprise me. Well, I didn't hear any bullets whiz by, so I guess we're okay. Well, folks, when you're down in Mexico and you hear gunshots, it's Yeah, it, it happens a little bit. Uh, there's someone up on the bank right now, either shooting buzzards or shooting birds or better, shooting someone. I don't I don't really know. It's those guys. Right it's those guys? Yeah. Oh. Maybe, oh, he was holding a gun. He wasn't holding a tripod. I'm gonna guess that wasn't Sobe then. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the tilapia on the bank. We're in 16. 18. I'm gonna throw a big jig right here. This looks like a big jig bank. No. Oh, I got it. That is a solid two and three quarter. Dandy. A little deeper. Slang, slang my cracking, man. No. Nope. Oh no. <sighs> Come here, you little chee chee. Oh, that doesn't count. See, it came off. <laughs> hey guys, really good news. My uh, PB for Lake Comodoro 2018, what, 2019? Um, has moved up. It's flare. In a quarter pound. <laughs> so, uh, Cerveza is around, boys. Drink up. So here is our drinking game. If you catch a bass under two pounds, you have to drink a beer. If you catch a bass over five pounds, you get to choose a person in the boat that has to drink a beer. If you catch a double dig, 
pretty much the whole lake just has to get drunk. Okay. <laughs> 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 big bass right behind you, Brackley. Big one. Have I been wrong today? You haven't. He said he said the sunshine was a thing on the points, and dagummit, he was right. He said we were gonna catch a little bass on the last spot, and well, he was right. Manager Matt just has everything dialed. <laughs> I've seen all this lake. Now time to throw at this point right here, with that brush on it. This is the key to catching big bass, going to big points with deep water close by, chunking big baits in 12 to 15 feet of water, fishing slow, and then just waiting on that boom. And then don't mess up. Drink sponsor. Official fueler <laughs> of the trip. Coffee, free range coffee in Modelo. Fueling you through the hard times. Yeah. Maybe in just. Oh, oh, oh. Good bite. Yes. Is it good fish, fish? On, fish on. Oh gosh, this is a beer fish. No, it's not. It's over two. Uh, no, no, no. Fish you don't have to drink a beer to. That's that's what I'm talking about. Hey, dead gummit! <laughs> Muy gordo. Oh gosh, biggin. Biggin net? Oh gosh, no, it hit it and then it's in a tree. Dude, that was woo, honey. <laughs> I don't know what really happened there. I guess he like yanked it off the hook or something. But he's bigger than two. No. Oh. Oh, marks, marks on the graph. Bueno. I was on the bottom when I got that bite. Oh, here we go now. There is. Is that a five? No. That's a four. Does he have more? No. He's a fiver. You think so? There's definitely more right here, boys. We're on him? Yep. Uh, Look at that bloody tail. Yep. Uh, mi amigo es muy backlash. <laughs> First class uh, major league <laughs> dangle yeah. tangler there. Yeah, that's what happens when you throw one out uh, spinner bait around. Yeah, we got another one back here. <laughs> backlash or stuck? It's stucky. Hey, I got like 10 songs, some loud. Uh, Imagine, Imagine dragons? <laughs> he did. You, don't, you like it? You get, it's good? Cold beer and Labinas. Labinas y Brewskis. <laughs> Have a good booze cruise, gentlemen. We just had ourselves a uh, another cerveza delivery. Had to drink a couple more beers out here since since uh, caught that good fish. Juan Carlos, AKA Senor Bass, he caught a seven. He's caught like a, a seven, a five, and a four, or something like that. John's caught an eight. So there's big bass being caught out here. Now. There's also a lot of Modelo's being drunk. Right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Want to I'm gonna take a time out here. Drink my beers. It's called the two pound game. Get out. See? Oh. Yeah. See, yes. You gotta drink a beer if you catch one. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Please be a 12 pounder. <laughs> No oh, cerveza, Ricardo. No cerveza. Yeah, yeah cerveza. cerveza. Imagine if all those one pound fish were fours and fives. That was Bryant back there, about uh, four Modelos short. short on his game, slamming them on top waters and Mondo worms. Uh, I'll wait. What's, what's wrong? Well, the slow motor's in the way now. Uh, just wait till we get to the next point. Yeah, man. yeah. You want to pee while he's dying? Well, man's trying to take a whizzer here. <laughs> and we're about to go to another point over here. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the... Look at the view in front of you. That's probably one of the best views you'll ever have while taking a tinkle. Everywhere we've been, there's been big bass on these points. And they just don't seem to uh, want to strike it, though. A, like a 
bridge that runs out right there. Also right here though, this is the juice. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Get him out, he's just head shaking, Bryant. It's gonna be huge. Watch this. This is gonna be a very big fish, Bryant. This is Bryant. Okay, oh. Here, hold yeah. that, hold that. I got it, I got it, I got it. That's oh a big fish. Oh my God! <laughs> Bryant! Yes, Bryant. Yes. Oh my God! Yes. That a boy. Oh my God! Mondo's a boy. <laughs> That's my biggest pass ever. <laughs> 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 Look at that bad oh boy. Oh my gosh. Scale? <laughs> Scale? Caught it on a train hog, baby. Oh my How goodness. How about them apples? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. We'll see. I'm going to say it's it's definitely a seven. We'll see. Seven nine. It's a seven nine? Oh no, seven eight. Windows Freaking seven, eight. toad. Oh. Nice, Harry. Huh? Almost an eight pounder. Almost an eight, a seven eight four. Almost an eight pounder. That's awesome. Go that for the boy. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> His you biggest bass ever. It. That is freaking awesome. cool, dude. Bryant. No bueno. Good fish, buddy. Seven and three quarter pounds. A little over seven and three quarter pounds. Biggest bass ever for Bryant. Just let it go and give it a little tickle on the back. There you that go. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Cool. Caught on a Guggen bait. PB. We've been having a little fun, catching little fish and uh, playing games, but here at the end of the day, came to a big fish hole where I've had my biggest bite of the trip, and then I turn around and I see Bryant's rod doubled over, and I'm like, get the net. That's a big one. It feels totally different, doesn't it? It does. It's just yeah, like, that's what you said. Whoo. Well, he said this morning a big bass would cure all his illness. And it did. <laughs> that's a drinking fish. That's a cerveza fish. Under two. End of the day, end of the trip. Uh, what bam? He was losing all hope, I'm telling you. Dude. Dude, I was so, I, I, I passed out for about an hour. I was sitting there just dying. I could hear like my heart pulsating through my ears. It was that bad. I thought, I was hallucinating at one point. Tylenol, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, y'all, we've had three PBs broken today. Epic, epic day. So Hector, who came down here, who I fished with on the first day, he broke his PB with an 8-4, baby! Ross broke his PB, Brian broke his PB. This is what Comandero is all about. We've been having a absolute fun time, but on the last day, on the last dangle. What a way to end the day. Got one in the lineup. What three beers, three fishermen, end of the day, three guys broke their PB today. I think it's only customary that we finish off the uh, pack of Modelos here here at Ron Speed's Adventures. What a good way to end the day, gentlemen. Congratulations. I think this is where I'm gonna send you off, folks. What an incredible day, an incredible experience here. As always, awesome in Mexico. That leaves me hungry for more fishing trips down here. You guys know what to do, subscribe right here to the channel. I love you. I see you on the next one.